And Matt, some of that moisture could be headed our way. Absolutely. Nothing uh, that would be concerning when in the wind department, but it certainly could enhance our rainfall and our thunderstorm chances and the humidity for later next week into the weekend. Great. So yes. a week full of thunderstorms this week and then yeah. next week and then... Yeah, it won't yeah. be raining the whole time, but yeah, we've got a lot of chances for thunderstorms in the extended forecast. Wanted to show you what it looks like as we track barrel. It will make landfall in Texas tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow evening as a Category 1 hurricane. And watch as it tracks up to the north into the southern Great Plains. This is midnight. Monday into Tuesday, and then it moves off to the northeast from then. This is Wednesday, 1 p.m. You see that moisture is over the, the Midwestern states now into the Great Lakes. And so by Thursday or Friday of next week, some of that moisture could spread into the northeast. And all this would do for us locally is just enhance the rainfall, the humidity, and the thunderstorm chances for later in the week. So something we'll be watching for sure could be some isolated areas of flooding with that, depending on how it sets up. Now, we did have our own storms today, not associated with barrel and they're moving out of here. You see the last of them out by uh, eastern Vermont and you know a lot of towns kind of how it goes this time of year. A lot of towns didn't get very wet today including up by Malone and Santa Clara just some lighter showers but then when you head south towards Saranac Lake, Elizabethtown out toward the Champlain Valley and Montpelier a stripe of one to two inches of rain throughout the day today and then even more out to the east. Look at uh, Grafton County there by Littleton and Bethlehem, New Hampshire two to three inches while Newport and Barton up the road only saw some sprinkles earlier this morning. So that's just kind of how things went today. The front responsible is moving off to the east. Drier weather is just on the doorstep behind it. And that means, although it is muggy tomorrow, the humidity does go down just a little bit, especially when you compare it to what we had today. So here's Futurecast. The rest of tonight is fine. There may be some areas of fog tomorrow morning early, and then that'll burn off pretty quickly. We've got lots of sun in store for tomorrow afternoon. There may be a couple of pop-up showers or maybe a quick downpour near Lake Champlain and then into central and eastern Vermont. That would be tomorrow afternoon, but 99% of us will be dry tomorrow. And then Monday is just a hot one. Lots of sun mixing with a few high clouds, so there may be a little filter on the sun at some point on Monday, but it's mostly sunny overall. Temperatures near 90 degrees on Monday. And then on Tuesday, we reintroduce the chance for showers and thunderstorms. A lot of the activity may hold off until later in the day on on Tuesday, but if you're not really a fan of this heat and humidity, we get a brief hiatus tomorrow night into Monday morning. Look at those wake up temperatures on Monday, 50s and 60s with slightly lower humidity. But then by Monday afternoon, many towns are up near 90. Once again, could be in the lower 90s for the upper valley in the Champlain Valley. We're stuck under the influence of this Bermuda high pressure off to the southeast, which means for us persistent southwest flow and that's why the humidity is with us through at least the next seven to 10 days. Besides that little brief hiatus there tomorrow night into Monday morning, it's hot. It's a tad less humid on Monday, and then we get the humidity back in here full swing Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday as the showers and thunderstorms come back over the region. Amanda.